Everyone tells you discipline is important, but they never really tell you why. Well, I'll tell you. We traveled to the city of brotherly love last week and we spoke at a super cool venue called the Live Event Center in Philly. We had a blast and of course we hit up Angelo's Pizza in South Philly before we left. I wanted to come back and share my talk with you because guys, I feel like this is really, really timely at this exact moment. Realtors and lenders alike, we've been waiting two and a half years for a rate cut. We fought, we've outlasted, we've rubbed our pennies together to finally reach the other side of adversity and we finally get a rate cut and wouldn't you know it, rates go up. Team, I know it can be exhausting and hopeless and a gigantic letdown after waiting so long, but let's set that aside for a moment and focus on the things that we can control. Things like mindset, motivation, and discipline. We hear these buzzwords a lot. Heck, entire talks are given for each one, but they don't seem to stick or stay with us. It's almost like going to your favorite sales rally or conference and we get all jacked up on, uh, on the energy and the ideas and the strategies and we take the best of notes and build the best of intentions only to get back to the real world on Monday and maybe execute those ideas and strategies for a week or two, but then we finally settle back into our meh daily weekly habits. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So in an effort to be the anti that, let me share what I talked about in Philly and why I believe discipline is greater than motivation. Of course my slide deck had a rocky image in it. I was in Philly, I mean, come on. But hear me team, I believe and know that mindset, motivation, and discipline are all important. But if I had to choose one, it would be discipline. Why? Because let's be honest, motivation is awesome and it gets us hyped up, but it wanes and dissipates over time. How many of us have started a, a weight loss journey or a fitness journey and two weeks into it, when that alarm clock goes off at 4.30 in the morning, how many of us know that motivation is absent in that moment, right? How many of us housing professionals know that at 845 days into an adverse market, that motivation left the building long ago, months if not years ago? It wasn't motivation that kept you going. It wasn't motivation that kept bringing you into the office, looking for opportunities in one of the most adverse and hardest markets ever. Don't get it twisted team, that wasn't motivation. Motivation isn't there when your bank account is low and your debt is high and you've been at your spouse's throat due to the immense stress that you're under. You're not very motivated to exercise patience with your spouse or your kids when the weight of the world is seemingly crashing down on you. See, mindset and motivation are important, crucial, but if I had to choose one, it would be discipline and that's why I believe discipline is greater than motivation. Let's dig in a little deeper. Here's the typical definition of discipline from Oxford. The practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. We're not talking about that right now. A more realistic definition of discipline would be doing what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, how it's supposed to get done. In other words, there's something I'm supposed to do, but I don't really wanna do it. Everyone tells you why discipline is important, but they never tell you why. Well, I'll tell you why because it's the strongest form of self-worth, self-regard. It's the strongest form of believing in yourself. Why? Because discipline is ignoring something you want right now for something way better later on. Your discipline or the lack thereof reveals your commitment to your hopes, dreams, and goals. Question guys, ask yourself right now, what does your discipline say about your commitments right now? Humbling, isn't it? Discipline reveals the commitment you have to yourself. Discipline reveals the commitment that you have to your family, your spouse, and your children. Discipline reveals the commitment that you have to your teammates. Why is discipline important? Because the future you is depending on the current you, keeping the promises that you made yourself yesterday. Let me say that again. The future you is depending on the current you, keeping the promises that you made to yourself yesterday. Here's Nick Saban's simple definition of discipline something I know I'm supposed to do, but I don't want to do it, can I make myself do it? I know I'm supposed to call all my past clients and call builders and realtors and my database and recruit, but I don't really want to do it. Can you make yourself do it? Will you? Discipline's greater than motivation. I know I'm supposed to be present for my wife when I get home, but I've just worked a 12 hour day and I'm really exhausted. I just want to watch Sports Center. There's something I'm supposed to do, but I don't really want to do it. Can I make myself do it? Discipline's greater than motivation. I know I'm supposed to go to my son's football game or my daughter's volleyball game. But drinks with the boys sounds so much better right now. Can I make myself do it? 
discipline is greater than motivation. If you're sick of the ups and downs in business, if you're sick of the ups and downs in your personal life and your relationships, then focus on your discipline and watch your business and personal life explode. Focus on your daily and weekly and monthly disciplines and I promise you, I promise you guys, the rest will fall into place. If you're picking up what I'm laying down and you wanna be a better loan officer, a realtor, better realtor, better leader, better father, husband, wife, mother, then let this be your rally cry for 2025. And now you know why discipline's greater than motivation.